Hello guys, Fuzz here, and today we're going to be continuing on, of course, once again with Final Fantasy IX. So, we're getting close now to the Festival of the Hunt, which we've heard about a few times. So we are on the lookout for the princess, and I keep going down here, and there's nothing to do down there, so I don't know why I do that. Uh, so we're going to head to the elevator again, to the lift. We had a little bit of a scene. If you notice in the last episode, or if you remember, I did mention that I was having some control issues. Well, I've done some research, and that apparently is a common bug that's present in the game at the moment. So, the way I've found to fix it is to plug the controller in once the game has been loaded up. And, you know, you, you can see Zidane and whatnot. And... What that should do is stop the bug where you're constantly moving after you've taken your finger uh, off the direction that you were he wanted to head in. It was really annoying and a lot of people were suffering with it. So, just something to bear in mind. Maybe by the time you watch this, Square Inch will have put a, a proper fix out for it. But if not, then that's one way you can get around it. There's also an unofficial patch you can find on the Steam Forum. The Final Fantasy IX Steam Forum which uh, I've also installed. I don't know how much that helps as well. So once again, we're not able to access the lift, although we do need to try and do so. And now we're heading back this way. And we're going to see if anything's going down. We've got a sleeping guard here. So we uh, do need to speak to him. So it looks like we're making progress now. Get in there. The old cliche steal the guard's uniform uh, technique. And we should be able to get to the lift, Zidane says, so let's give it a, a try, see what this guy says to us. Good day, sir. The lift is running fine, as always. So now we're going to have a couple more scenes. It's quite a lengthy story section being in Limblum here, isn't it? I think this is about the third episode we've been doing this now. But we are going to be getting some action soon with some fighting. So just be patient for a little bit longer and enjoy the story while we go through it. We're going to begin by going up this stairway here. And if we just follow the path, we should encounter a scene. But we'll just chat to this person on the way, this worker. And we're going to continue heading on up. Say hello to you. It's actually quite strange to think this was a PS1 game. It's looking so much better now. So we found Dagger at last. And it's time to just sit back now and enjoy the view. And oh look at that, there's a telescope. So we've got a bit of a mini game coming up now. So 
So we need to find six locations. There's the first one. So yes, Chocobos will be playing somewhat of a significant role in the game as we move forward. Nothing, I don't think, as uh, in-depth as the Chocobo system in Final Fantasy VII. So I think that's three or four now, isn't it? The South Gate. And should just be one more now. Just move around until we find it. I don't think it's anything to do with those airships. They're just waiting to go into the gate. Ah. There it is. The Keybell River. Oh, I've just noticed my mic was off again. Oh, I keep doing that, I keep knocking it off by mistake. It just means I've been rambling to myself for the last uh, 30 seconds or so. But at least you got to, to read the dialogue in this scene in peace without my interruptions. So it looks like they're developing their relationship a little bit now. So Steiner's definitely devoted to the Queen and to the Princess. So I think he's going to have a little bit of a shock when he discovers that the Queen is actually a bit of a baddie. At least she's certainly being presented in that fashion at the moment. And we get a recap of where Vivi is as well. Royal action figures. They're quite large actually, aren't they, those uh, toys? And this is Freya, of course, who we had an encounter with earlier and actually named. So it probably won't be much of a surprise that Freya will very soon be joining us on our adventures. And Freya is unique, by the way, for having the jump ability. Something that we've just got a little taste of then. We can't stabilise the engine system. It can't run for more than 10 minutes, damn it. My mind hasn't been the same since I became an Oglop.
<laughs> well, seems to be a uh, touch of jealousy there from Dagger, so certainly uh, their relationship is developing. In cheesy fashion, of course. And now we're actually going to be introduced to the festival, the festival of the hunt. And we won't just be introduced to it, we will very much be a part of it. So, as you can see, the festival of the hunt is a load of fiends are released over the city. And the person that basically kills the most is the one that will be crowned the uh, hunter or the, or the winner. And there's going to be various kinds of monsters released. And it is something that you're probably going to want to take seriously since there is at least one item available, key item available during the Festival of the Hunt, uh, which is only available at this point in the game and through these means, so I'll explain it more as we go on. And that last fiend is basically the ultimate hunt that we are aiming for. So hunters on your mark, ferocious beasts, swarm about the castle town, the bigger the catch, the higher the score. Now we have 12 minutes and we need to use the air cabs to move between districts. Once we lose a battle, we are forced to retire. The winner will be crowned Master Hunter and receive the Hunter's Reward. Who will come out on top? <laughs> so I'm just going to aim for Zidane to win. It doesn't matter out of the three party members who wins in terms of the key item that we can collect for being the winner, as long as one of them happens to win. So we're going to be getting in the theatre district. We are just going to go ahead and save before we get into the thick of it in case it doesn't go to plan and we need to restart it for whatever reason. Always best to be prepared in advance. And to start since we're in control of Zidane, we need to head over to the theatre district. So we need to do exactly as the guard has just informed us and make our way over to the air cab. And we can use that to take us to our starting destination or our starting point. Oh, no, we're here. And this will take us straight there. Right, looks like we're getting close to starting.
<laughs> Steiner should have probably signed up to the festival as well, shouldn't he? I think he'd have enjoyed this. Something to stick it to Zidane anyway. Right, so we can collect um, in the theatre district between 40 and 48 points. So we're going to go straight ahead now and start killing things. So we are, of course, soloing with Sidam. And we want to head, make sure we're in the business district within four and a half minutes because that will allow us to uh, take on the final enemy encounter for the most points. So these enemies aren't too challenging. You won't get any experience or AP from killing these either. So come on, where are all these enemies? There we go. So I've just realised this is the first time I get to use this ogre uh, masher thing that we collected, wasn't it, not too long ago. And it seems to be nice and powerful. 400 points of damage in a single hit. It's pretty good, that is. 22 points. Come on. So we're not in the lead at the moment. Uh, there was one animal or bird that we missed, wasn't there, I think, at the start. So after this, we'll head back up. Unless anything else shows its way, or shows itself. 550 points of damage. I'm loving this new weapon that Sedan's equipped. 42 points, and we're actually in the lead now. So we'll head on over to the next district. It looks like there is one there, doesn't it? But, yeah, there we go. Right. Now we're going to head over to the next district and Freya's in the lead. Remember it's okay if Freya wins, that's not a problem at all. Let's just throw a potion on us before we do go any further. If you need to pause the timer at any point by the way, you can just pause the uh, game. If you need to, you know, get a drink or something. Okay, stop messing around, we just need to hop on to here and we're going to go to the industrial district for up to another 54 points and then we can head over to the business district but we don't really want to go there just yet right which is the best way around here ah now Phoebe's in the lead interesting that there's even monsters here to begin with since uh, one of our party members started in this district. I guess they keep respawning, don't they? Sixty-three points. Let's see what's going on up here. We've got a moo. Although things are quite close at the minute, the one that kills the Zagna will get 99 points so that's going to be our ultimate goal through this festival of the hunt and we're back in the lead again 
Well, briefly. Let's go for this moot. And we're on 82 points. Okay, we don't want to go to the pub, but look, we've got the uh, next fiend. So, ah, that's not good. We'll kill this little guy and then we'll head over to the business district, which is the third and final. Uh, districts we will should be we shall be heading to through the festival. Although there was a birdie thing flying around. Where's it gone? It would help if we actually went down the steps. We've got six minutes to go. So we'll go to the business district now. By the way, you can also speak to the air cab attendants if you want a little bit of information from them. Although they pretty much only tell you who's in the lead, and we can see that anyway. So it's not really going to help us too much, is it? Hey, come back. That's more like it. So the aim is to reach the square at 4 minutes 30. If we reach it after that, uh, sorry, before that, we'd have to uh, leave it and come back because the monster we want to kill doesn't spawn until then. But it looks like we're going to be okay. So we'll kill this fella and I do want to try and hurry up now because we are getting close to that timer. And the monster I'm talking about does have 1500 hit points. And of course we have to kill him in the 4 minutes or however long it takes us uh, to, to get there with what's left. Right then, so we'll enter the square here. I oh, know we're not at the square yet, but we'll just heal up. Come on, time to get a bloody move on. We'll leave that other monster there. Oops, thinks. Uh, looks like we've come the wrong way. Doesn't really help. Come on, come on. So Freya's in the lead again. Oh, there's VB. And there was no avoiding that thing. And wow, time is actually running quite low now. Could have done with the ATB gauge being a little bit fuller than it was there. Right, and there's the creature we want to fight. But we do have Freya to help us here. Although I do want to try and spend a minute stealing because there's two items here that we would really like to get our hands on. The Mithril Gloves and the Needle Fork. So we're going to pop Freya on healing duty for perhaps the first minute of the fight. And we're going to try and steal both of those if at all possible. So there's the first one. And 
try and steal again. The mythical gloves are a common steal, the needle fork is an uncommon steal, so it could take a bit of time. So we just need to make sure that we leave enough time to actually finish the battle as well. So we'll start with Freya's jump command now. Start getting some of the health of this guy down. It would be very nice to get this needle fork. But since this is an uncommon steal, I'm not going to count on it. Okay, we are actually going to have to start attacking this guy now, but we did get the needle fork. Right, we've got about a minute now to do this. Fortunately, I've had the uh, foresight of bumping up the battle speed, which is very important. go for free energy here, try and get a nice bit of damage in. Hopefully uh, a little bit faster than that as well. Is that it? We've done it. Phew! With 22 seconds left we managed to steal both items and kill the enemy. So I don't think there's going to be much else we need to do here in all fairness. We've got 233 points there. By the way, it's possible you can get Freya to win uh, for the item if you weaken the boss and then kill Zidane and then get Freya to make the killer blow. And that's not a bad idea because you get the item rather than the gill then. So there's our 5,000 gil and there's the Master Hunter key item. Again, you will get that regardless of who wins, as long as it's either VV, Zidane or Freya. Hmm, urgent news from our king. The king of Burmesia? Take a good look at him, an injury has blinded him. Our kingdom is being attacked by some unknown force. We are severely outmatched. Please send reinforcements immediately. And the enemy looks like an army of mages wearing steeple-crowned hats. The King and I are old friends. We will send reinforcements to Burmesia immediately. Thank you, Regents. The King and all Burmesia will be most grateful. I must return now. Well, that doesn't sound too good, does it, for the Burmeseans? And their emissaries just died. Fortunately, he managed to get the message to us. We have no choice. Call back the 4th Aerial Division patrolling the border. Burmesia is our ally and we must help them. So the Princess is starting to uh, get inclinations now about the Queen which is interesting. So Freya of course really wants to go and help her people.
Hmm. Okay. So we're going to be heading off to uh, Burma Sea to help with this war. So it seems our next destination is now decided for us. But of course we've got to eat up before we go. Festival of the Hunt Feast is one of the oldest traditions that we have. It began well over five centuries ago and it's customary to eat everything with your hands so go on before it gets cold. Thank you uncle. Let's just eat, we can't do anything until the gate opens. Yeah, you're right. This is wonderful. Princess, how is everything? In fact, she's not even eating anything. Stana looks like a man who likes his food, doesn't he? Steinem's has been over dramatic. Okay, but it looks like they've made up their mind. And once again, our party is being split up. Right, so we need to head for the Gizamaluks Grotto, and once we pass through the grotto, we will be in Burmesia. And some instructions from the ever so helpful Sid there on how to do just that. But for now, we're going to head back to the elevator, and not quite go to the... Uh, base level just yet. Because there's a few other things that we're going to want to do whilst we are here, before we leave. And if you join me in the next episode, I'm going to show you why it is I've been telling you to purchase up to 99 of those wrist items. We're actually going to be turning them into a nice bit of money. So for now we're going to finish off and I'm going to say thank you for joining me. Please remember to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this episode and if it has been helpful to you. And join me next time as we continue on with Final Fantasy IX. So see you later guys and take care. Make sure we're nicely saved up. Six hours into the game now, not bad. Bye everyone. <laughs>